Another thing is as a, a partner, when we're doing drills, techniques, as a partner, I play in my school here that I call the partner like a dead fish. If he's not pretending, his position is not realistic. For an example, he's working side control with me, and I see guys lying down like this. I mean, no one in a fight would be lying down the way I am right now. And because I'm like this, the chances for me to get hurt with a very simple movement is very big. I always want to make sure I pretend, even though I'm not fighting, I want to feed him to do his technique. I'm pretending here I'm in a position that expecting something to go wrong, even though nothing's going to be wrong. But I have to, I need to have that expecting that chance to get hit on the head, he loses his balance, drop his body on me. Very important for you when you do techniques. Don't just lie down and be a target. You want to make sure your arms are close to you, you can protect yourself. This way you don't get hurt. And another thing too is when people apply the choke, um, if I'm doing choke technique on him, and in the school here we do a lot of drills. We go like 20, 30, 50, 100 times in the same position. I want to make sure that he doesn't need to let me choke him on the limit 100 times, because by the end of that, he's going to get a sore throat and very sore neck. When we do the drills, one time we go, we choke everything, see if he's choking, but most of the time he's not waiting for the limit. As soon as we hold pretty good, he taps and we start over again. But I don't keep choking him and he needs to resist on the max. Because what happens is one time is okay, but a hundred times you can hurt yourself. One thing people that need to be aware of is a lot of times when we have the choke, it's not that the pressure that he puts on, it's just the continuous choke that stays on your neck. People got to be very aware because that's when sometimes you go out without even noticing that. I have one, one thing that I always tell my students, never, ever trust your neck. Because when you start trusting too much, that's when you go out. Every time someone goes after my neck, I will protect my neck first. Then I will do the technique after that. First thing, survive. Second, apply the technique. But I want to be able to survive is the only way for me to do the technique. It is very important to train with a lot of caution because what we do is something that has a lot of finishing holds, a lot of techniques that can be very dangerous if we don't have any control. All right? I always train safety. It's very important for you to do that. And uh, this way you're not... Gonna, you, you will never be able, you, you will never stop training for a week, for a day, because you're always going to be perfectly fit, mentally in shape, no injury, free of injury. Safety is very important, all right? Have a great training.